Hello and welcome to this fourth episode. Let's play on um, the counter line map. So we have finished uh, off um, fertilizing and spreading our fields with uh, herbicides. So pretty good. This number 28 field I sprayed with double A. This 28 field I played with sprayed with. Uh, herbicide just sim single A because it was so expensive. I spent so much money on that field. If you look at the finances, a minus 56,000, so, which isn't good, and that's because I sprayed so much double A. So that entire field is double A, and then another one is a single A. I'll probably stick to single A in the future because I'm not sure the, the profit will increase that much with. Um, so we'll set this back in, in the shed and then we'll fast forward a bit. So we'll see hopefully at the end of this day uh, at the end of this day we'll have uh, our cornfield will be done and ready for harvest. Uh, but then there's a problem of how to finance our renting of a um, rent of uh, or a combine. We need to rent a combine. Fortunately. Mm, but I guess we'll have to take out the loan and then just sell corn off as we can to repay the loan. But we need to take out quite low just to pay or, or just to end up in the green numbers okay we'll fast forward with the fast forward mod it's in the description if you wonder how it, what it is yeah, so that's good we have a list that someone is doing the same we'll wait for 20,000 we got from the cows so we'll wait for so we want to finish calculation and maybe we will get a green field. If we don't we have three days more so we can actually maybe get in the green just by fast forwarding. And we will make twenty thousand times three sixty thousand we should be in the green then. If it doesn't turn green no, we'll see. Fifty percent So this is a really nice map, the map is, fields are really big, it means they take quite some time to, to um, quite some time to harvest and seed and plant and cultivate and everything, but they will, that's good. By the time you've seen this, it's only I think two days left until the release of 17, the 17. I'm uh, looking forward to it, a lot of, quite a lot of previews released on YouTube um, by a couple of guys that got the opportunity to do pre-release videos um, comparing that paid to do them too so that's cool if you have a lot of followers you get paid to make videos of upcoming games so okay so they didn't turn green this time and uh, it means you need three more days before we can harvest our corn, which suits us pretty good. Are we on the plus? I have to keep track of one thing, and that's the soil moisture in the fields because. Since it's fast forward and it's not raining that much, we could end up with very dry fields. So I have to do ch some cheating if we do that. So we we'll go over to our field here. This has pretty good soil moisture, 57. That's perfect.
Maybe now we we could see if we if our cornfield turns green. That would be lovely if it does. And then we could rent some equipment. And meanwhile we could probably fill up the our let's see, storage, let's see. I Uh, cows, cows. What is that? Cows. Animals, cows. Here you go. Um, so we could fill up a feeding trough. What, what happened now? Probably good to save the game. Some weird going on on my screen. There's a small little white box in the lower end. I like the things with practical vehicles or skid steers if you practically turn on a dime. Okay, so now we can see in the map that the cornfield is turning green, so that's good. So this day, most of this day probably harvesting corn. We need to rent. Rent, uh, let's see. Tractors, trucks, harvesters. This is the big one. Quite uh, a lot of money. But it holds a lot. Of it holds a lot, quite a lot. Of we rent that one, spend most of our money. Let's see, headers. Big one, no, we need a corn header. Oh, this one, probably. Or this one. This one. 6,000, we need to borrow the money. Not that much, but that's your money. Hello, because uh, yeah, that one, rent. We can set this back, and then we can go get our harvester, which we will use. Open this one. It's quite a fast, I mean, 32 kilometers is pretty good for a gigantic combine like this. It would be fun to see what the biggest combines in the world, how big they are, what sort of capacity they have. And the fence is on the other side. So let's unfold that. So I think this has 12,000 something, capacity is 12,000, which is pretty gigantic and the header room this, this is so big it's good. we need it because it's a gigantic field let's put our it's gonna say hassles but our beacon song is it not beautiful morning beautiful morning for Harvesting some corn. We won't buy this, but that's quite a lot of money. If, but if we sell off the corn and then we um, sell off the corn, maybe we can can afford to buy this. Uh, maybe sell off the corn and take out a small loan. Because I don't think we will make that much. How much money do you make of corn? Corn, corn, corn. 253, Conagra. 
Rift Aid Crisco. Crisco seems to be the highest pair. I could just remember where Crisco is located. Let's map it somewhere. We'll find it. Stop sign. Um, I mean, this cycle we just harvest cornfield. And I think next cycle will be ready. It will be next cycle. It's time for for soybeans, which will make us a lot of money. Probably enough to buy buy one of these, or if we bought it, we paid a loan to got on it. Uh, that's next project. Firstly, we'll harvest this cornfield. And this one over here. Number 22. I think it's cooler actually. I think it's. Uh, I think this is it's really cool. I, I love this game. Uh, it's interesting to see how the gaming experience will, will change on FS 17. It will change that much. Maybe from the from the previews, it seems more like um, small changes. Cool changes. I'm not saying anything about that. But it doesn't seem like it's a tremendously big change. This is such a big field. It would be cool to know how many hectares it is. That's quite low soil moisture. The nutrients are crappy. <laughs> I shouldn't put some nutrients on this field. Oh well. Why did I do that? That's stupid. I should like look at Nugent's and one PK zero. Uh, the yields would be so low. Well, it's good. P you use good soil pH at least. So let this go about his business. We'll get our tractor here. In the meantime, while it's oh crappy, crappy frame rates, why are we getting crappy frame rates? That was better. So we can probably refill our total mixed rations, trough and uh, cow pen at the same time. So a little combine it should be coming up on us soon. Over here, here it is. This fence is really in the way. I would like to just not have to drive around that. Why didn't I put fertilizer in that field? Oh, that was stupid. I have to fertilize like 300 times just to get it up to the normal level. Oh well, that's the way it is. We put some solid fertilizer on it and then, um, and then cultivate that into the ground before seeding. I'll probably keep this field as a corn field. I could rotate it to some other crop, but uh, I'll probably stick with corn. This like probably would work pretty good. So probably I would you should use a liquid sprayer, liquid fertilizer on this field because the soil moisture is so low that it's going to the soil moisture over that field is pretty good. So if I cheat and make it rain, um, that will be come too dry, too wet, and this would be normal. I think. Go to our skids tier. 
still haven't figured out how to where to put where to put the the straw for the cows. Uh, I haven't put much effort into looking for looking for it, and I haven't put any effort into uh, looking online on forums and such to see if I could find out what find out where it's located. So, mm, mostly because the last episode I recorded was last night, and this is morning. So basically what I did since I recorded the last episode was I slept. Let's see, we need some we actually need to buy some more more silence pains. Because okay, so there's two loads more on this. Flowery red. That's interesting to see. Cows here. We have the um, 199,000. So, <laughs> yes, we could actually put some of that on our cornfield to, to get, uh, get, our, get our levels up. That's pretty good. And these liquids we mix. I think liquid manure increases the soil uh, soil moisture some more silage beans and hay beans. Oops, sorry. There we go. There. God, I have an itch on my back. Okay, so even got, though this is crappy yields, we will get quite a lot of corn off this field, I'm guessing. We don't use doesn't. God, my English is crap today. Which we don't use in this let's play because we started mostly as a dairy operation on this one. We need a house on this one. I wonder if there is placeable how placeable houses to, to put down somewhere over there so I can feel like it's my home. This is what it is to be there. We also need to buy a trailer for getting some water. Keep pushing. I could have bought it when I had money, but instead I rented the, my little combine. And I needed a combine too, so I mean, that combine makes harvesting so much easier than this over here. My old New Holland. Nice combine. It's just capacity is too low, it's like 4,000 something and that takes forever to do anything and we still would need to buy a new header for that one because we don't have a corn header these bales are quite heavy I think in real life I read somewhere that it weigh about 700 kilograms 
or maybe that's their own bail, depending on what they are, but a few hundred, I think, three, four hundred kilobits, kilobits are pretty, but they'd probably be not far from realistic. Silence panes over here. Then we need to buy some more. So uh, looking at the previews of F17, it looks very nice. It looks, uh, there's quite a lot of good equipment. Um, a bunch of more tractors, lots more equipment, and mostly the thing that uh, got me excited is there's a weeder, two weeders. So uh, if you weed the fields, can we weed, which means I guess weed is implemented in F17, otherwise there would be no point having weeder. Or it just, not sure if weed shows up, or if it just, um, the weeder somehow increases yield invisibly. Uh, it's cool, cool thing that it has a weeder, two weeders, and that they, you have to use them, so you could actually go organic in F17 by default. And I think that is pretty cool. Let's see where it could be over there somewhere. This would take quite some time to harvest. I'm thinking because it's such a big field. Um, if you're wondering why I haven't put out an episode of North Brabant, uh, it's because I haven't played that map in a few days. Um, I like the map, um, just sort of, when I start a new map like this one, I get sort of excited about this one and, and want to play this all the time. So that's why I haven't, I haven't played the North Brabant map. That's the reason why, basically. Nine thousand. That's steering wheel weird. Maybe it's a perfectly ergonomical steering wheel, but it looks weird. So we'll go and buy some new silage bales. So we can do some more total extractions. That trailer shows up, but something in the front of this this one, which is sort of weird. So it's not in the front. It's one. No, one. it's in the back. So this will take a bit of time because it's not the fastest tractor around. But now, now we actually have money, so we can buy bales. You might have to take on a small one to buy some more bales. We can fill this up. Soon. Let's go and empty our corn. The combat corn harvester. Interesting. Two hundred. It was two hundred fifty-eight per ton. Won't that be? Won't be that much money actually. We won't make. That's the part for playing hard mode. You, sometimes you make so little money, it seems not worth it. And if we had fertilized this field, we would have gotten more money because we got a better yield from getting crappy, crappy, crappy field. Unfortunately, but that was my stupid mistake. I didn't keep track on that field. I just looked at 
my soybean field fields. So that was stupid of me. So anyway, I wanted at least to I wanted to have uh, show you at least one set of one harvest of uh, corn to see what we make before ending this episode and doing the rest of uh, the cornfield off screen because I think watching me harvest corn for four hours is not very fun. Probably totally worthless actually. And so we go in here. Mm -hmm. It's not I'm going very fast but yeah going somewhere. You should probably make some making silage out of that corn is probably better than making selling corn. So if you're watching um, uh, How Farm Works channel on YouTube, which I recommend highly, um, then it's getting around to harvest time for them. Mm, and last episode they showed we were prepared for the harvest and they were saying that probably the day after that they would start their harvest. So it might be going, in, going as we speak actually. And they will be busy harvesting and we won't have time to put up stuff on YouTube then. Some, which is understandable. Farmers market. Saturday is cool. Sorry, why did I leave? Here? per gallon. The, the fuel prices in the States are so ridiculously low. I'm sorry. Uh, in, in the States you probably think it's really high but they're not, not compared to international I think uh, compared to Sweden a uh, liter which is what is that a quarter of a gallon mm, a sort of quarter of a gallon liter cost the equivalent, let's see, what would that be in dollars? 13. Wait, wait, I have to look this up. Because, I mean, if you're watching this from the States and you think your fuel prices are high, <laughs> they're not, I'm sorry. There's the. Um, That be a gallon. Okay, so twenty six. Just curious how much it actually costs and then do some calculating off screen. So we have that times to reduce I do divide it. So times the okay, so the price of fuel, if I recalculate it into US dollars and the price for a gallon, so I'm not sure what the price is now, but in the equivalent amount in Swedish is per, per gallon 573. So if you buy fuel here will set you back good um good five seventy three seventy three per I'm take a load so we can buy some more 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 silence bales buy 
two, three, two, maybe. That's it. So 573 per gala in Sweden. So I'm not sure what the gala price is currently in the States. Um, but um, I'm pretty sure it's not fair 573 at least. Let's go see if it's ready to unload the next load here somewhere. Hello farm. Hello farmhouse. No dog wandering around in the yard. I think it's cool. Cool house. Nice fence. We have. Oh, sorry. We actually have a white picket fence at our house here in Sweden because I really wanted to build one. So not, no, I didn't really want to build it. I really wanted to have one. So we built the white picket fence, and I'm never ever. And during the rest of my life building a white picket fence again because it took so much time with so much work and it just m the amount of paint to paint the white picket fence is ridiculous ridiculous it was so much paint uh, that was the most expensive part the, the the wood was really cheap in comparison to the it was like bought the wood and we saw it and put the fence it's like this isn't too bad this doesn't cost much money and then the amount of paint that goes painting a white picket fence is was just ridiculous high now we need to find crisco crisco is where is crisco it's over there okay so we'll go down south and then so it's full Down south, we go and unload this one, and then I'll stop recording for this time. This stop the recording after that. Um, to see how much. I'm just curious how much money we make for corn. It won't be that much. I think we need a front plate on this. Sort of sliding around. Then I guess pulling 32,000 liters of corn at 52,000. How do we get through this? Can we drive through here? Yes, I can. This is our forest. Let's not go into the mountain. I actually, yesterday while fertilizing, took the car and, and I was gonna drive back to the farm and I drove through a puddle of mud like this and I couldn't get out. I had to reset the vehicle. It was just stuck. There was no way I'm getting out of that. So avoiding mud holes, puddles. Actually we should probably rent some sort of big truck to haul this corn from the field to the cell points this will take too long I think um, but that will set me oh I have to use quite a lot of money to rent truck too so maybe in the beginning I'll just go around driving with my nice what sort of field that is 15, that's all it means. So it means to probably really crappy yield because I didn't know when I fertilized it. Which is okay. I won't fertilize it. So 
so I saw that all also in episode 17 that they that is you can uh, you can do missions like for other farmers their fields um, you can make money that way and the amount of money you made was at least on normal mode was ridiculously high when Dagwin was showing it um, I I thought it was it, it didn't make sense that you could make that much money it wasn't realistic let's put it like that which is fair enough it doesn't have to be realistic let's see Quisco is up somewhere on the right it's like it's taking forever because the map is so big the track is going quite fast it's wobbly I need to win. wait can't wait Oh, cool with a big pumpkins. So, oh, this cat running across. The There's lots of stuff like small animals and uh, domestic animals too, not just cows and sheep and stuff. Sheep, sheep, sheep. Where is our oh, Chris? Oh, it's up here somewhere. Ooh, let's see. That's far, that's far ago. Here, over here is Crisco. I'm not sure what Crisco is. If, if someone knows what Crisco is, you could maybe let me know. I have no idea what it is. Is this our cell point? Yes, here it is. How do you see if we can back this up there? Okay, just a little bit like that. Okay, so corn, selling off corn. How much money will we make? We can, we can repair our own. No. And that goes to the roof. So we can repay loan. So one load of this we made. The one was 11. No. How much was it? I have to see our finances. See prices over you. Harvest income eight thousand two hundred and fifty six. Okay, so eight thousand two hundred and fifty six. Um, our uh, corn harvest. One load. So let's head on back. Well anyway, I'm gonna leave it at that. Um because you'll probably find this extremely boring. Um and next time I will do I will harvest the fields field offline and sell off the corn. And I will use the corn to work my way towards getting a better combine, not just when one. So next time we can but um I'm thinking next time I will have done the harvest of the corn I might be working on um, slurry, putting slurry onto the field and then cultivating it. Um, but that's for next time. So anyway, thank you for watching. If you please leave a comment, subscribe. Cool with the birds They're flying above us somewhere. Um, where's the birds? You can see the birds if you can see the there. Oh, well, maybe I have ADD. Um, but uh, anyway, leave comments. Uh, please subscribe. Hit the like button if you like this uh, video. And um, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.